Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Pinky and I'm not ashamed. Um, please remember if you like this video to um, click, on, click on subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Um, this video is literally just my own style of makeup tutorial because I feel like there's a lot of women out there who don't do their makeup because they think it's too hard and they've got to have all the right stuff. This is literally just a tutorial to show you that you can be a bogan makeup person and just, you know, with a few tools and a few makeup things, you too can have makeup. All right, so thanks for watching. So I think the biggest thing is people get really confused about contouring. So I definitely got confused about contouring. So I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to contour. <laughs> okay. All you need is like a colour, something like this, right? So a darker colour. And then you need a lighter colour. It literally doesn't matter what it is. Like, go for anything that looks like primer, highlighter, doesn't matter. You could probably find a lighter one of these. That's how easy contouring is, right? Now, the only advice I would give anyone that I think everybody needs is a brush that looks like this. A good makeup brush that has that flat top because that is how you get everything to contour. So, first of all, you grab your dark colour and you go like this. Alright. Anywhere that the light gives you shadow is where you put the dark. Then I grab my highlighter. Okay. I would say I'm doing this one handed. So it's a primer, it's pretty easy. So anywhere there's a light. So anyway, there's a light. You can see the light. Alright. Now I, because I'm going pretty heavy handed with my um, blush, tend to put it on straight away. Alright. Then you literally grab this brush, the magic brush. Okay. And you get your foundation, any liquid foundation. Personally, at my age, I'm loving the MAC. Just putting it on my brush now. I am seriously loving MAC. But everybody has a different foundation. You don't have to spend a lot of money on foundation. you just got to find a foundation that suits your skin. Also, someone gave me advice, said that every six months, it's good to change your foundation. But I don't know. So anyway, a bit of foundation on my brush. And you go like this. Literally, this is how easy it is. Makeup tutorials will make you think that putting on makeup is like the hardest thing in the world. It's not. Alright. Alright. So, doing this really rushed. But you start to see. So then, oh, maybe I would. Look, won't even matter. I'll rub that in later. Okay. Okay, anyway, then you can grab something like this, a bronzer. This is just the stuff that will help you start making it sort of blend in a bit better. So you sort of do a little three. See, anywhere there's a shadow. So I'm actually putting some on my brush. Anyway, a bit of a shadow. Under here where you don't want a double chin. All right. Then grab your blush again. Cheeks, 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 cheeks. Favourite brush. Put a bit more foundation on it. And you just go over yourself again. See, so what starts to happen, this is what they're showing you on makeup tutorials. Alright. Not doing it the best, because guess what? Oh, look, there we go. A bit, bit better light. This is a bogan tutorial. Oh, I probably also should have said makeup artists will tell you to do your eye makeup first. So you don't end up with it on your foundation. And they're right, but do I remember that ever? No. So I always do this bit first. Now, if you want to set it like me, I don't like the shine look. So other people do. But look, you can already see how I've got a highlight. Right? See, I'm starting to get the contouring, and for me, I like to put a bit of powder on top. Okay. 
go. Now, the truth is, you can actually literally just keep doing that. You should just keep grabbing your blush up, grabbing your one contouring thing and your one highlighter, and you can keep adding, and you can end up with the same shadows that everybody else does when they've spent half an hour in a chair. See? Not bad for a bogan makeup, eh? Next comes the eyes. Okay, so for me, I'm all about colours for my eyeshadow. Um, so I'm not going to lie, the best makeup, thanks to my daughter, is the Morph makeup. Look at all the colours, right? And she's also the one that bought me my makeup brushes. No, fuck. Okay, so to do your eye makeup, all I care about is how many colours I have. So luckily, I have Morph. So there's all those colours. And also I have all these brushes. I'm not always sure what brush goes with what. So I actually just play around. So I'll just go, oh, whatever colour. Because the truth is, once you start putting colours on your eyes, with a proper brush, but now I'm going to fuck this up because I do tutorial. But the whole point is, for those of us that don't want to put a lot of time in makeup and don't want to overthink it, Get all worried. The truth is, all you have to do is put a base colour. Uh, right. All you need is a base colour. You need some light brush that will give you a light colour under your eyebrows. This will accentuate your eyebrows. Okay. And what is grey is one of these brushes. Where is that? Right? Put it on a dark. Doesn't even matter what the dark is. Just get a dark line. Where your eyelid is. See? Now, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just like this, but start giving yourself. So on top of your lid, on bottom of your lid. And where your eyelid ends is the best place to go dark. I'm not sure as a tutorial I should be doing it in the thing or in the mirror. Hang on. Yeah, maybe that's best. <laughs> maybe I've done one of these before, obviously. Okay, see? And so you're just getting in these darker parts of your eyes. And depending on how, what time you went out. So you'd go darker the later you're going out. <laughs> Bit of a mistake. All mistakes can be fixed. This is probably, <laughs> no, this is obviously why makeup experts tell you to do your eye makeup last. But I'm actually going to show you how to fix that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so say so you stuff up your eyes like I just have. This is the sort of stuff that freaks people out. This is why women won't do it. So you get your highlighter. Yeah. You literally just fix it. Get your highlighter and my favourite brush. Should have put a highlighter there anyway. Ah. So don't panic if you make a mistake. It's probably a good thing. Because <laughs> I'm a vegan YouTuber. Aren't I? Definitely pinky and I'm not ashamed. Because you know what? I'm actually going to keep this video. And this is what I'm posting because perfection is not my style. Alright, so you fixed it up enough. Anyway. Okay, so you've done that. So you've done your dark, dark, light. Now you need to have eyebrows. So my favorite brush, okay, this has saved my life. You can get a brush, obviously with that end and that end. So you get, doesn't even matter, a little eyebrow thing. 
you know, it's like wax on, wax off. No. All right. So with that, I go like this. And I just put my eyebrows on. Go back for some. You can tell this is really not a professional video. This is for all those people. Seriously. It's for people that don't think they can do their makeup. If I can do my makeup like this, seriously, if I can do this, anyone can do this. Okay, it's not that hard. Then I like to use this and maybe to put, because I don't even always know, because I always do different things. Add a little bit of depth. Because I have heard, like, the, if you go darker, lighter, it really doesn't matter. The truth is, guess what? Oops. Every mistake you make too. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, so obviously I'm making more mistakes. But every mistake you make can actually be fixed. So like, people will stress about makeup. Now, I'm not gonna lie, maybe this isn't the best makeup you've ever seen in your life. But if you were going to a nightclub, <laughs> oh, let's say, never ever forget your freaking mascara. That will give you depth. Always make your eyes look better with mascara. And pretty much that's it. So obviously then you pull out your hair. Of course, girls' faces always look better. <laughs> it's a bit of hair. All right, and there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, <so> sorry. <laughs> Only I would forget this. All right, put a bit of lipstick. If you're gonna go mad on the eyes, don't go mad on the lips. So someone like me, let's put that extra color. Especially at my age, my lips are so getting thin. All right, there you go. Okay, you know what? Not bad for bow your makeup, eh? No. So I um, just want to reiterate after my video, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup. Um, if you watch the Woolworths aisle, they tend to sell their makeup off quite cheap. So I've gotten things like my eyebrow stuff for $4, my bronzer for $4. Um, but I think makeup brushes, yeah, look, the Woolworths brands are great. But also, I'm not going to lie, I love my Morph makeup brushes. Um, and I also love my Morph eyeshadow. It seems to be last me more than any eyeshadow has ever last me and the colours come on dark so I don't feel like I have to make a lot of work to do them. And as I said in my video, I love the MAC um, foundation but I feel like women should go and find the foundation that works for them because all women seem to think different ones work differently and I really believe that. Um, so there's a lot of makeup companies they obviously have their shops. Go in and try their foundations. Try their makeup and have a look. Um, because I've bought stuff that I love and stuff, so obviously, at all different prices and from all different places.